Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raoul Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now let's see how to solve this given question. Here t is uh, this this series, okay, and we have to show that 9t is equal to 16. Okay. Now let's just observe this series, okay. This is a pretty good one. Almost and all the terms are there, like 4 by 5, 4 by 5, and then uh, 6 by 10 and then another 8 by 15. So the pattern is good. One term in the numerator, one term in the denominator, two terms in the numerator, two terms in the denominator, three, three. So it's good. But just one thing that these kind of patterns start with one. So I just need a one. Okay. For that, I'm just going to add it, add one on both sides. Fine. That's it. Uh, no other requirement is there. So T is this and just add one on both sides. So this is what I have. Now I'm going to just do some little modifications so that I have a factorial in the denominator. I have an increasing power in, uh, power in each term. Like basically the power of a term should keep on increasing and the ter number of terms should keep increasing. I mean the terms in the product should keep increasing. How I'm going to do that? Please stay with me. See, uh, This 4 by 5, okay. This 4 by 5, I'm going to write it as 4 by 1 into 1 by 5, okay. 4 by 5, I wrote it as 4 by 1 into 1 by 5, okay. Now next, why, why you might feel because there is 1 5 here. Here there is 5 into 10, okay. 10 is nothing but 5 into 2. So basically 5 into 5 is, I'll, I'll get something like 5 square here, okay. And uh, here I have uh, 5, 10 and 15. So basically I can write 15 as 5 into 3 and 10 I already told you. So 5, 5, 5. I can get something like 5 cube there. So in the first term I have something like 5. I mean this term I have 5. Here I can get 5 square. Here I can get 5 cube. So there is a pattern and I'm getting an increasing powers, okay. There's one thing. Next I want is factorial. Now for that factorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as one can be written as one factorial. It's pretty simple. Okay. Now four into six you just bring it a little bit aside and bring the two also aside. The two I can write it as one into two. Fine. And I'm left out with five into five here. All good. Next uh, here in this denominator. Next four six eight keep it a bit aside and two three bring it outside. Again two into three I can write it as one into two into three. Fine. So uh, again, three fives will be left out. Okay. Now I'm getting close to my pattern. What is one into two? One into two, I can write it as two factorial. One into two, I can write it as two factorial. Okay. And next one into two into three, one into two into three, I can write it as three factorial. One into two into three, I can write it as three factorial. Okay. Next, uh, this I already told you, this I can write it as one by five whole square. This I can write it as one by five whole cube. So you see, this is perfectly matching with the serial, with the pattern I want. Like I have factorial in the denominators and I have increasing parts 1 by 5, 1 by 5 square, 1 by 5 cube and the terms in the product. You see there's just 4 here, 4 into 6, 4 into 6 into 8. I hope all things are good. Fine. Next. Now this is nothing but this is like, this is like that same series I wrote it again here. This is like 1 plus p by q into x by q. I'm sorry, 1 plus p by 1 factorial into x by q plus p into p plus q by 2 factor into x by q whole square and so on. This pattern I'm able to get it here. Okay, see, once you come till here, you know, most of your job is done. Okay, now why to compare it with this pattern? I'll tell you, but first let us do some basic analysis. If you compare, see, 1 factorial is there, 1 factorial is there. Here p is there, here 4 is there. So p is 4. Next, here I have x by q, here I have 1 by 5. So x by q is 1 by 5. Next. Uh, p is 4, I already got, p plus q would be nothing but 6, okay, p plus q is 6. So, those those things I just put it down here, uh, p is 4, with this I can get q, okay, I just put 4 plus q equal to 6 and uh, q will be equal to 6 minus 4, which is nothing but 2. Likewise, uh, here I have x by q equal to 1 by 5, so q I got it as 2, x by 2 equal to 1 by 5, so x will be equal to 2 by 5, okay, so I got my p, q and x, okay. Now the this entire series, okay, there's actually one minus x whole power minus p by q. Okay, you see this much big thing is nothing but one minus x whole power minus p by q. So this this entire series also is nothing but one minus x whole power minus p by q, but with p q and x as this. Okay, so one plus t is nothing but one minus x whole power minus p by q with my p q and x as this. Now just substitute them here. Okay, just substitute them and then most of your job is done and some basic calculations, okay. Just substitute it, p is 4, q is 2 and x is 2 by 5. Take basic LCM, so 5 minus 2 by 5, I'll get 5 minus 2 is uh, 3 and also 2 ones are, 2 twos are. So in the power I'm left out with minus 2. Uh, here I get 3 by 5 whole power minus 2. Now
Now a by b whole power minus m is nothing but b by a whole power m. Okay. So here I get this uh, 3 by 5 whole power minus 2 is nothing but 5 by 3 whole power 2. 5 by 3 whole square. Next, 1 plus t is nothing but 25 and 5 square is 25 and 3 square is 9. Now we are close to the ending, okay, the climax. So 9 you can send it here. 9 into 1 plus t is 25. 9 plus 90 is 25. Send the 9 here. 90 is nothing but 25 minus 9 and 90 is 16. That's it. This is what they had asked us to show. And we have showed it. Okay. So thank you very much for staying with me up till now. In case if you like this video, please hit the like button. It will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Thank you.